Hello, everyone. This is Dino Trove again from San Francisco State University. And this is, again, the introduction to drawing for designers class. So in the last video, we did a um, milk carton orthographic. And in this video, we're going to do a milk carton isometric or axonometric. So let me just review real quick what we did. Um, so we took a milk carton. It happened to be actually a goldfish carton, um, which is a, a, a Tetra Pak packaging. And um, talk about how um, Tetra Pak got invented, I believe, in Holland, and how the name comes from the fact that you have four uh, triangles in this uh, triangular pyramid, which is called a tetrahedron. I actually did not write that down, but write that down because it's a great shape. Um, it's the strongest phys, uh, solid shape, and I think it's got the maximum area, um, surface area for a given volume, the opposite of a sphere, which has got the minimum surface, I think. Anyway, I could be wrong, but um, anyway, Tetra Pak was invented, and what it was, it was a cylinder basically where the milk kept you know being fed continuously and then with two pinches it would create this pyramidal shape which is a little long um, but it looks like this okay again it was a cylinder and then it was pinched both sides i mean two opposite sides like that and you got a tetra pack and then of course they changed the design to a more um, efficient in terms of uh, storing it because the other one didn't didn't quite fit too many it didn't fill space um, so in the other drawing which was this one we did three views front side top and two sections indicated by aa and bb and for that we did it at half scale and we figured out a bunch of measurements and figured out the millimeters was the best solution for this guy because, um, yeah, halving inches, you know, three, two and three quarter inches divided by half, whatever that is. So, so we, you then use those measurements, you know, by half, but then we put measurements that were real on the drawing. Okay. And And to do the sections, we also showed how we cut the um, we cut the box in half, and we looked this way to get that section, and we have this view, right? And then we cut the box. Let's see this way. And then we knocked that out, and we had this view, which is that section. So that was a half scale, and in this other drawing, we're actually going to draw the full scale because it just, no, actually, yes, full scale, because I think it happens to fit, and that's what the drawing looks like. So this is going to be much faster than the other video. <laughs> um, and we're going to use isometric, which is a type of axonometric that uses these angles, okay? That's the uh, 30, 60 triangle. So this is very convenient because it's the same angle on both sides. And we're gonna do two views and we're gonna see that actually this view is um, the same view just rotated 60 degrees. Actually, why don't I show that right away? So that um, I'm gonna have to repeat it later. Oh, actually, I already have it. Yeah. Reminded that you should all get a pad of tracing paper because it's a fantastic aid. Okay, so yeah, if you have, let's say this drawing, and then I take, and I think that's what I say in the assignment. If you take this corner and you turn it, uh, well, actually, it wasn't that corner. Oh, that's a, okay. I have to correct it in the assignment. Um, yeah, you basically get the sh the same shape. It's just that it's slightly shifted because I made it fit in the drawing here. So that's very nifty. Um, but you do have to draw it twice. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. So again, we're going to use um, Bristol board, which is out of this nice pad, which happens to be Canson paper, which is a good brand. Uh, and it's heavy paper. Oh, and the sound that it makes like the bread in Ratatouille. You can tell it's good bread from the sound. Um, so I happen to work on nine by 12. You might be working on eight and a half by 11, which is probably not very good unless you have cardstock that's quite smooth. Um, and I'm gonna keep this handy so that I can refer to it. But now the first thing I'm gonna do is, um, let's see, I'm gonna tape this down. I'm gonna use, let's see, I'm gonna use tape, uh, drafting tape. And we're gonna put the tape across the corners, but leaving room for the title block, which uh, we need to do. I guess I'm just gonna do it again. Uh, it's gonna take about five minutes, so you can skip ahead if you've noticed by heart now. Um, okay. So usually I tell stories when I'm doing something that just has to be done, but there's no way to skip forward. So I'm not sure what story I will tell. Let me get started and then maybe I'll think about it. Oh. In terms of the pencil that we're gonna use, once again, this is the recommended official, which is two millimeter lead with two H, although for the video I'm using softer, I think it's HB, uh, but you should use two H. Um, this is not recommended. In fact, I don't like this at all because they break quite often. These are the kind that you just click, click, click. that have these little leads. Uh, and then you could use a pencil, but even though I made a very sharp point here, it's gonna get dull very quickly. So, um, so yeah, I recommend again using the um, the one on the right, right here, versus that or that. Okay. Um, okay. Well, this is gonna take five minutes, so you could, I don't know, take a coffee break. Um, but I'm just gonna do it because you never know who's gonna to come to this video first for the first time. So I'll just mark uh, Finch there. And a Finch here. And then three quarters. And then in the middle, I'm gonna put two lines for my lettering. A Finch. My finch. And you can use two triangles that have the markings already, but you need both centimeters with millimeters and inches, or you can use some without markings, but in that case, you need to have a separate ruler so you can actually measure. And again, you have to have um, millimeters, okay? So let's see. Now for convenience, I'm just going to use the um, ones that have the markings. And I'm using the edge of my um, paper as a guide. I'm gonna pretend it's gonna be perfectly straight. They never are, but for this part, it's okay. To center my lettering lines there. Am I bowling it? But I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Uh, now my triangle is short, so I have to finish it. Get some junk there. Okay. Oh, still junk, it's not sliding properly. Once in a while, it's a good idea to actually wash these guys to, um, with soap. I 
think they pick up glue from the tape or something like that. That's probably it. Um, okay, we'll escape that in a minute. Okay, and I'm gonna pretend that I know that it's perfectly straight. I'm just gonna use the edge of the paper, which you can't see now. Start darkening these lines and say, no, it's gonna be, you know. It would be a lot faster if I had a T-square, which I actually do, but I have no way to use it because I don't have a, an edge that is um, set up on the uh, left side there on my board. Okay. Can't quite see what I'm doing there, but ah, do it. So, well, I'm not telling any stories, but. Okay, so this one is called uh, 15 mil carton isometric. I have to shorten my lead because otherwise it's a little hard. So 15 mil carton. Isometric. Um, there is a way to write this stuff like really cool, but it's a little, it's a little time consuming. Um, where you would put the triangle there and you would say, and now I'm going to change the style here. So I could do all the verticals like that, but it would take a long time. And maybe it's not as that much better. Anyway, um, now of course it looks funny. So don't do that. Don't do two different styles. Um, okay, design to twenty. Again, my name SFSU. So this would be your name, of course. Um, I'm putting the scale here, even though the scale in these kind of drawings is kind of not really, because it's a pictorial view. It doesn't really give you the correct information, but um, so you wouldn't measure from this drawing. Um, you wouldn't take measurements from a drawing like this. You would do it from the orthographic. Anyway, uh, this would also be due on March 2nd, 2021. That wasn't so bad, let's see. Um, yeah, some drawings you won't need the scale, so you'll have one less box at the bottom. Okay, so um, let's see, we need to refer back to our side. So maybe what I'll do is I'll make, I'll make myself a little sketch on the side because my box is, let's see, 44 and a half high and then nine and a half squared at the bottom, right? So what it is, Maybe I'll make it thicker. I'll write it here. Um, let's see, not like that. So I'm just going to write. Um, so B is 35, and we're talking millimeters, right? 35, 35 by. So this would be this imaginary box right there. Sorry, I was covering it up. Um, oh, it doesn't almost fit. So that's 44 and a half. Okay, so these are all millimeters, 44 and a half tall by 35, 35, B 35, yes. I'm gonna double check. Um, 
oh never mind this is sorry this is full scale so we're going to do the real the real thing okay scratch that it's actually um 89 by 89 wrong too okay let's do it over okay let's start over so does it fit yeah that's my height this is my depth and width and the um so b is 70 millimeters Okay, so that's 70, that's 70, and then the height, which is A, is 89. Okay, now I can double check. So this would be 70, measuring that way, 70 measuring that way, and then the height is 89. So from here, you always have to remember, measure from zero. Um, it's about, yeah, 89 to there, okay? So that's the imaginary box because it gets cut off. So that's good. Now that I have that, I don't have to refer to this anymore. Oh, the other thing that I need is this little dimension there, which is D, which is 19. So I just need one because they're the same, 19. In other words, that's the same as this. Okay, good. Um, once in a while I sharpen my pencil just with the paper to save time just by rotating it and uh, and I in my drawing yeah you might if you use it enough by 11 you're probably going to be more uh, compressed you can also move this to the back a little bit later so just make it fit uh, more or less do a little bit of trial and error to get the box um, in position first and I left uh, two centimeters on the left and now I'm going to go really fast so I start out with that which gives me a nice edge I'm going to draw my construction lines a little darker again for the benefit of the video okay um, you should draw them as light as you can. And then the way I, um, I made this be the same is that I drew a line here and then I moved my triangle up and down until I got the right um, distance. So I also did two centimeters here. And of course, you know, it doesn't have to be super precise. Hmm. I'm afraid I'm really making them too dark. Anyway, yeah, what I did was then I put my, I know that I need 70 millimeters, right? So I placed my triangle this way and I tried to see, hmm, how did I do it? Um, I forgot, maybe I just measured it roughly 70 is about um, three inches. Well, I guess I could read it. Two and three quarter inch. Maybe that's how, what I did. I, I tried to find out two and three quarter inches. That's too much. Yeah, anyway, let's just say it's maybe there. Okay, but now I have to use my, remember I'm always using my triangles this way, right? I'm sliding this triangle this way and just don't see my support triangle. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna go for it and see what it looks like, how big that is. I need 89, no 70 rather. Yeah, right there. I got it. Yay. Okay. There was a little bit of luck there. Um, so now that I have this becomes my 
my main spot right here, okay? I think I'm really drawing too dark, so now I'm just going to a little lighter. You can see how quickly now I can go. And just a just a quick refresher on how we, with isometric, we have the three axes um, being all the same, okay? Uh, well, it just means that this is 30 degrees and this is 30 degrees. Um, and it's all the same because if you actually went the other way, this would be 120, this would be 120, this would be 120. So that's isometric uh, projection. Okay. Uh, now I just very quickly get my um, uh, my box, and I'm measuring now on the right side. But in fact, because of the same angle, I could have done this. I could have just run my triangle from the left to the right like that. Found that spot. So, okay, well, now we just, I'm not playing music, so you can play your own music while we watch this <laughs> and we don't, we don't have a conflict. Um, so the height is 89, so I measured the height, 89. I like these triangles because they don't start in the corner, which always gets chipped, it starts later. So 89, right there. I'm going to be short there. So if that happens, you have to do a couple of maneuvers. First, you get your bearing like that. And then so uh, once again, what you want to do is hold on your triangle down below here with your hand. Maybe hold on a little bit of the paper. And then when you slide it, and now I'm short again. Um, let me demonstrate, then you lock it with these fingers. Okay, just hold it up like that. Okay. Um, you can also, you know, as long as you get one line lined up, then you can move the triangle any way you want, as long as. Yeah, I'm still pretty good. So this is just the general box, right? Okay. Yeah, short again. Yeah, short again, but let's not worry about it. Well, actually, I don't like it that it doesn't end. It's always nice to cross your lines. Okay, so now we just need to do this little division right here, which is 19 millimeters from the top. Um, and we are trying to now draw this part, right? So 19 from the top and then another 19 to this line right here, um, which was, um, see, was um, 51 millimeters up. So I could do, I should be able to do 51 up. And if you don't have a carton, you can use these dimensions, but you should redraw it yourself. You shouldn't just like trace what I did, okay? So 51 and then 19 and 19 should be, yeah, 38 right there. So 19 and 19. Yeah, it's it's easier for me now, actually, if I, if I work this way. So I use my triangles in a way that looks a little funny, but it's, it's okay, because all I'm doing is is doing parallel lines, right? Doesn't matter how I position them as long as I am consistent. Um, and okay, I don't really need that line, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Um, to get the center, I could do a quick thing. I could do a little diagonal, I could measure it. And we can do diagonals. If you remember from the sketch, now I may be a little off there. So 
this was 70, so we're gonna do three and a half. And now that should match my center of the diagonal, um, diagonals. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so let's take a look at the one that I've already done. What I did, I show, I showed the fact that because the carton bends there, um, if you recall, the uh, the design is such that inside the top part doesn't actually glue to itself. There's like this gap, right? Um, and so there's these two layers that bend and make a fold there. So I'm trying to show that with this double line and then I'm showing two double lines there in the part that there's the joint there, okay? Um, so, and then eventually we'll do this other little line, which is, which is the score for the folding right here. That. And okay, so, yeah. And I'm just doing a double line close to each other because it's half millimeter. So that would be one millimeter altogether. Um, you can just eyeball this particular detail. Maybe just by doing it light first, that's not enough. Okay. And here you have to show you what that detail looks like blown up. Um, it's like that, right? Oops. So what you have is this bit that comes down this way, and that that comes down this way. Like that. So it's kind of a Y. But you have to start by doing these um, slopes first. And if you remember, I'm doing my lines by going from the two ends towards the middle and then meeting in the middle because that allows me to do a very sharp ending. Um, so I'm gonna just already give it the thickness here, but not Not all the way there, because it, it does fade. And then again, take my reading there. And like that. Yeah, that's a little too thick, but um, it's okay. Of course, this is a little bit of a simplification, right? Because the you know the package has got all these subtleties, the way it's put together. That's really difficult to put now in the in the drawing. Um, okay, well, I did a detail there before I actually did the rest, which is not actually a great practice. It's better to like block it out first with all the lines that we need. Um, and then do the details. So I'm gonna try to make up for that. Um, again, I'm holding the bottom triangle pretty tight and with my hand also on the paper so they don't slide. And then I still hold it while I can move the other triangle with another finger. Um, so whatever is parallel just stays parallel, remember? Right. So if this line is parallel here, it's going to be parallel there too, right? Even though you can see in perspective, it looks already a little bit converging, right? But we disregard that here. Uh, let's see, we have enough, probably. So we kind of can see what it, what's still going to be visible. I'm almost done with the first one. Uh, what happened here? Yeah. Doesn't meet up yet, but it should. So if I do it correctly. Um, by the way, once again, I'm working standing up, which is actually quite good, although after a while I get tired even standing up, but um, 
but your body is really, you know, more free to to work this way. Um, that's it. Um, oh, I need to mark what this is. This line. So I figured it was twenty. 23, 22, 23 in. There's a mark here, 23 in. Right there, and then the line, I'm just gonna stop short um, from there. Because it does, it does stop short right there. You know? yeah. yeah, it doesn't go all the way. Uh, in here too, although here it does go behind, so it stops when it becomes hidden by that part. Okay, I'm ready to darken out these lines. This is the fun part when you're actually done with all the construction. And by the way, leave these construction lines, they're nice, um, unless there's like lots of mistaken lines, but otherwise they give the drawing as I say in the assignment, uh, a uh, lively feel and shows the process. So, when you hold the pencil, make sure you're holding it, you know, pretty straight and not, you know, bending one way or the other and not too um, flat. And I'm, I'm using, I just realized now I'm doing this actually, as I draw the line, I'm using my little finger to kind of guide me a little bit, like uh, in order to keep it straight, right? Because in order to keep it straight, I have to bend my wrist. And so I have not, I don't have this anymore to hold it. So I use, uh, there's a little crutch there. It's funny how like one does stuff and then doesn't really remember how he does them. So, so now because I've been using my construction lines pretty dark, I'm gonna go pretty heavy. Now, heavy doesn't mean thick really, it just means nice and dark. And you're gonna have really a hard time to keep the lines thin and dark if you use this kind of pencil. Um, because they tend to make thicker lines. So, there's also a technique where you make just the outline, like in cartoons, much darker than even the inner lines, but I'm not gonna try to do that now. It's not necessary. And right there, I wasn't turning my pencil. I really should turn it. Right there. Okay, there's a bend here too. Oh, we're almost there with the first one. This last bit right there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, okay, now we're just gonna do the other side and it's just gonna be, yeah, sort of going the other way. And remember, it's gonna be basically the same one except not turned, right? Um, so what I'll do once again, well, I'll, I'll start here. So they're like hugging each other, right? So they're, let's see, they're positioned like that. Yeah. And I'm not gonna worry too much how it's gonna end up here, although I don't want it to. Um, so I start by saying, okay, it's gonna, be attaching there. And the way I did this one is I made it stop here, which was nice because even though I got a little closer here, 
because there's more room, it looks, it looks pretty balanced. Um, so we'll do the same. Actually, why don't we do the same? Um, in other words, we're gonna extend this corner line here to the right, and that's gonna give us the stop. So now I'm just gonna take the height of this carton, which uh, it was 89. Double checking that that was correct. Yeah, 89, and now it's gonna be 89 from here to here. So 89, so that gives us where the end is gonna be, right here behind the other one. Okay. And And the base was 70. So these dimensions are 70. And I'm just gonna speed up now because you know basically it's the same process except it's sideways. Okay. Um, so you might want to forward this one too, but um By the way, you can do a square real quick by doing this trick where you use the triangle this way, which is the 60, de 60 degrees, and that's gonna give me the perfect diagonal, which should give me the same height here. Yeah, 70, perfect. Yeah, sometimes it's a little tight. I'm still trying to get my main box. Uh, again, if you have one line, it's you use that as your guide. Where are we? Here somewhere. And I might even do this. So because I'm running out of room at the bottom. Um right there. Always try to work near the this corner, not that corner, right? Because it could they could tip there. Now the lighting is not so great. Uh, can't quite see it, but I'll try. It's right there. Yeah. It's slightly different than my other one. Did I miss something? No, it's okay. I'm just noticing that in this one, that back line matches, you know, this view right here. And in my drawing here, it's a little bit off. Uh, well, who knows what happened there? I'm not gonna worry about it now. Okay, so I need to do these two divisions, 19 and 19. Let's make a reading here. 19 and 19 is 38. And again, you can see why using millimeters is so much nicer and easier. <laughs> um, I watched the landing of the, no, I didn't watch it, nobody did because I didn't have the camera on when it was landing, but um, the landing of the, what is it? Ingenuity, now that's the helicopter, the other guy, Perseverance maybe. Um, and why am I saying this? Oh yeah, because I noticed that they used meters when they were approaching Mars. And you know, minus 100 meter, minus 50 meters, they didn't use feet or inches. I think some time ago, one probe crashed. I don't know if it was on Mars because they had used the mixed up feet with with uh, meters. So anyway, even NASA uses decimals. That's good to know. Um, all right, I'm just gonna measure now to make it faster instead of trying to draw diagonals. So this is 70, so that would be 35. And I'm now doing the middle, middle division there. So I'm just, completing my skeleton, I guess, my wireframe. 
so to speak. And, uh, because I know I'm, I have to double up this line, which is gonna make these lines move slightly different. I'm gonna do that first and for, right away. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna eyeball the thickness, which I'm doing about a millimeter, but would be half of that, right? Because of this is actual size and the paper is actually uh, roughly half a millimeter, the carton, the cardboard. And right there, I did a double line to separate the two layers, which I didn't do there. So I'm not crazy about that. I'm gonna do a quick, oh, except there's no room, but there we go, a little bit. Okay, so now I can do this picking up from the thickness. And because I know this is a good line, I'm just gonna darken it right away. And I'm gonna do the thickness of that fold there, which remember doesn't quite reach the base of the roof. It's getting a little dull. So again, I take my measurement there. If I can't see it, I draw a little line, a light line, and then I go back. That's what I just did there. I tried it and look. Yeah, this is actually meant to look a little thicker from this view, I think. Um, okay, almost there, almost there. And this video is definitely shorter. Um, So I'll bring this over because I'm gonna need that other part. This. The other here. Double thick lines. On the back here. And then the only other thing we need are those um, grid um, scores, right? Those creases. So why don't we do those? Because those actually require some thinking. <laughs> it requires measuring. So there were 22 from here to here, from here to here, but then I stopped short. So 22 millimeters right there. And then we're going to stop short. And perhaps even a little lighter than normal. Um, this one is going to stop because it's going to be hidden. That. Okay. All right, I'm gonna just try to finish it off now by doing every single line pretty much as my final line. Um, okay, we're still going. Uh, am I missing something? No, make these lines darker. As I said in the other video, I'm going to post some links that show how these guys are made. Uh, first of the printing plant, and then at the filling, and I guess you'd call it the forming plant where they get uh, they get filled with the milk or whatever, and and that shit. Right. An amazing process because it happens very fast and like in any industrial plant it's very noisy um, so i hope you i don't know i hope you get some satisfaction out of making these drawings because 
Um, I recently realized that actually this is a good thing to do before one goes to bed or rather, rather than watching videos or, or, or work on the computer, this is much more relaxing because I guess you, your body moves, um, not just your eyeballs. Um, okay. So that's my goal for the next two months to three months to do some drawings at night if I feel like I need to relax. Um, of course, you can do freehand drawings too. I mean, they don't have to be all geometric like this. But they're kind of freehand in a sense, right? Because I'm not using a computer. Okay. I mean, yeah, I could finish a few here without using two triangles because I'm really just going over the existing lines. I think that's it. Let's compare it. Oh yeah, remember that trick, the animation trick? To see if it corresponds, to see if something is missing. Looks right. Um, yeah, I mean, if you wanted to make it you know, prettier, you could, you know, maybe like erase a little bit of this line just because it's so thick, make a little bit of this, but leaving, you know, leaving the construction. So just leaving all these nice crosses, um, which give it, you know, an architectural feel. Perhaps this right here. Okay, I don't want to erase too much. Yeah, what I was saying earlier now, if you darkened it, but it's going to be hard to darken this even more, but you could, um, you know, make it pop even more if you, if you did that. But the risk is that it becomes, you know, muddied up. So I have to be careful not to. Yeah, like I said, I think I'm going to leave it alone um, unless unless really some line is too light. Yay, done. All right, everyone. This is it. So that was the uh, isometric um, milk carton. Right? More or less, and something like that. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye-bye.